everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries A Short Hike. This is, uh, we're digging into, I don't want to call it older releases because this just came out in 2019. But the impetus for this is that it is free on the Epic Store until March 19th. So we got a time sensitive promotion to check this out for the low, low price of On The House. The way I understand it, it is a highly regarded indie adventure slash exploration game uh, where you fly around a provincial park in Canada. Something I'm, well, I've been to provincial parks. I've never flown in a provincial park because I don't have wings. I never get tired of this view. Claire, Claire. Maybe we shouldn't do the Frank Underwood voice. You're going to have a great time here this summer, I think. It'll be good to get away from the city and take a break from everything else going on. Are you still awake? Mm, maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. So yeah, it's an opportunity. I actually have had this on my list of uh, games to check out for a long time. It constantly showed up in Steam Labs for me. Uh, and as you can see, a really, really cool and unique visual style. Um, so when I saw that it was available for free on Epic, I was like, dude, it's a no-brainer. You found a shell. Just take a little swim here. Yo, this is triggering like some serious like early PS1 era nostalgia. Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you all day. You been busy? Uh, kinda. Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. Oh, yeah, I guess. But that's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek before. I figured you would have gone already. I've been meaning to go, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, today's a good day as any. Just take White Beach Trail and head north of the Fork. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. All right. Just wanted... I mean, this, to me, this looks like White Beach Trail. But I was just taking a look, maybe thinking I could get some extra collectibles around here. My appetite for collecting really only lasts for the first area of any given game. White Coast Trail. Okay. You think there's something in here? We gotta take a look, right? So I know that it's, uh... I don't want to call it a walking simulator, even though I never have meant that derisively, I think, in my whole life. Claire, did you know you can hold A while running to glide through the air? Of course, everyone knows that. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's one of those games you can sort of play at your own pace, at least. I found, I believe, a penny. I pressed the button too fast. My apologies. What do you got over here? Hey, you! Find me 15 shells. I want them, but why? It's a secret. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Keep both eyes out, please. Well, I got a stick. How does that strike you? Does that strike you as, uh, as workable? Two shells. Keep those glides going. Excuse me? Hey, Claire. How's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Ah, it's one of those kinds of days. I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. Would you say you feel lost and directionless? Uh, maybe. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Take this. You found a compass. To use it, press Y to open your inventory. Then select it from the items menu. Uh, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking. Tells you which way is north. Okay. Can we go? We cannot go inside. Alright, this is very useful. Thank you. Already one step ahead of Escape from Tarkov. As the only way... I could compare those two games, possibly. Okay, if you'll excuse me, sir, I did not mean to engage with you in this dialogue. I meant to come down here and open this delightful little chest. Pick up some Canadian dollars. What do you think's going on over here? You put a, maybe, uh, you could put a tool in there or something? Get something out of it? I don't know. I don't know if it's that kind of game. Hawk Peak Trail over there. Don't, don't talk to me about Sid Beach. We're not going that way. Hey, dude! What's happening? Oh, you know. Just jamming out on the beach, building sand castles and whatnot. Sounds like a good time. You know it. Can I borrow your shovel? Sorry, bud. I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. One's made for sandcastles. What? Sounds fake. <laughs> but if you can show me one, I'll be glad to trade. Okay. Okay. There's some more hard-earned Canadian dollars. And there's a freaking shell, dude. There's a freaking shell! So we need a little shovel and 15 shells. I see another shell. 
raid down here. And I'm already into this delightful little, little experience here. That happened fast. It really snuck up on me. Another stick for me as well. Not really sure what I'm doing with those yet. You think we're going to get introduced to a combat system at some point? It would surprise me. It would surprise me. So let's just keep making our way up for now. We can always come back down later. It's one of those games I think, uh, you know, there's no wrong way to play it necessarily. From what I can gather. From what I can glean. Excuse me, do you have the time? See, normally I would know the time. I just lost my watch. It was very expensive and priceless when you consider the sentimental value. I see. If you find it, can you bring it back to me? Sure. Please don't sell it on the internet or whatever. It's very valuable to me. All right. All right. I'm not going to sell it on the internet or whatever. Probably just go to a local flea market or something like that. That way I don't have to worry about shipping costs. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I would like to speak with this creature up here if you don't if you don't mind I would just like to climb the summit you know what I bet we can do it this way I bet we cannot do it this way I'm lost I've already I've gotten myself in a world of hurt take me back up all I wanted was this shell to begin with so try something like this oh the winds are pushing me the the opposite way here you go Claire Get some speed. She's done it. There we go. That was just stinky money. What am I supposed to do with money, dude? I'm looking for priceless seashells. Your money is no good here. That's all right. We can cross this bridge then. Dude, from an audio-visual standpoint... What do you got going on there, little fish? Um, this is a really unique experience. Like the music is is delightful. It kind of it feels like it's it's obviously mechanically not the same, but it feels a little bit um, aesthetically to me like Animal Crossing. Just just wholesome animals living their lives, dealing with real people problems, but also in a way that's kind of like you know, judgment free. The saying "life is strange," you know, is more like uh, inside out. Let's put it that way. So far. That being said. I'm going to be inside out pretty soon if I don't get 12 freaking shells. Let me... Th ah, hey, 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 hey. Okay. You know what? What if you just went for a little... Just a little fly here. See what the heck we got going on. Mouth, hello. Hmm. I was planning on hiking to Hawk Peak, but the path suddenly got really steep. Do you think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Apparently, they sell them at the visitor center. Look at that. Just when I thought I was being abandoned... The game gave me everything I needed to know. A little shovel! Too small. So if the steering wheel goes flying, I'm toast. Okay. Now, fly this down to the beach. You go like this. Okay. But I think he's like a little over this way-ish. Yeah, yeah, hello. Hey, check out this shovel I found. It might be a little more your size. Oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. You found a shovel. When you want to use my shovel, press Y to open your inventory and equip it. Okay, now I'm thinking, like, ruin the dude's sandcastle. So you think you dig on, like, that star up there? I'm thinking that's a possibility. He's a genius. Somebody's just burying perfectly good money. I don't know if I've ever told this story, but when I was a kid, in, like, second grade, I brought a, a shovel to school... Just a little baby shovel. Um, and I dug through the sandbox at recess. This is before the iPad existed, in case it's not abundantly clear. And buried deep within the sandbox, I found a potato masher. How did that get there? I've heard some rumors. Do you like rumors? I dabble. Okay, hear me out. Jim just bought a metal detector. He was running around yesterday looking for stuff around the island. If It, it was going nuts, though. Seems like there's stuff buried all over the island. What kind of stuff? I don't know. Metal stuff? Okay. Jim doesn't actually own a shovel, so he wasn't able to dig any of it up. Oh, baby, it's our it's our time. Hey there. What are you up to today? Uh, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike, you know. You'll need to learn how to rock climb to make it to the top. Why not join our club? Uh-oh. The Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing. 
pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. What of it? Listen, kid. Climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it... This is my experience with rock climbers in real life, too. They're always talking... Hey, dude, I, I mounted a 13.1B the other day. It was crazy. Look at the veins in my forearms, dude. Yeah, I got a little pickle board that I used to climb at home. You got a problem? Look, I get it. Everybody loves rock climbing, okay? Just stay... You're, you're proselytizing. You're preaching to the choir. It's not really that bad. So anyway, you want to join the Climbers Club? Sure, why not? We got our third member. Not third, just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. So first things first, you got a golden feather? I do not. You can't climb without one, but you can buy them at the visitor's center. Okay. They should be pretty cheap. Well, I'll have you know, I had like 65 cents, so I'm not really sweating it. You got something for me? They do not have something for me. I did see another treasure chest. Oh my god. Two shinies. A little bit of platforming here. He's done it. Just some Canadian dollars. I'll take the crab juice, dude. I'm getting a little... I'm getting two other vibes here. Tell me if, you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, okay? One of these vibes is uh, Frog Detective. And it's definitely cartoon wholesomeness with animals. That's, that's the big one there. Uh, and I'm also getting a little Wadham vibe, which isn't really fair because I think Wadham actually... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Did you know the infamous local dish, strawberries and toast, was invented here? Okay. Do this set. Sounds good. Don't get me wrong. Plus, I've got all the ingredients here on quarantine. Visitor center is dead ahead. This way. Um, yo, it's a golden feather, dude. What I was gonna say is, uh, you know, it reminds me of Wadham, like, musically. Also, maybe a little bit in terms of, like, the, the palette in the game. Uh, but I think this actually came out before Wadham, although Wadham was also, like, uh... Help. Uh, Wadham was also, uh, in development forever. I'm not suggesting, you know, it's anything other than convergent evolution. Let me put it that way. I got a game plan. A lot of people think I'm bad at video games. Very wrong. I'm I'm amongst the best. So we're gonna pivot here, jump on the rock. Use the rock to sequence break. Jump on the sign. You the sign has no collider. I've been grifted. Okay, having made it here, we now go to the feather. No, dude, we could do it. We could do it. I don't I don't think this is the way it's meant to be done. But I know that we can do it. You take the rock, you climb, you jump. You've betrayed me for the final time. There's probably a much more sensible way to do this. Maybe we can climb up this little, the shallow side over here, then climb up on this rock. Then you take this rock, this rock up, hello, hello, hello. Then from here, you just go, go. Adam, how dare you? How dare you? Put it so close yet so far. Just keep moving here. Hi, doggy. There's going to be a marathon race at Meteor Lake today. The competition this year is fierce. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm not really interested right now, but I appreciate keeping me in mind. I do see that there's a treasure chest over here. Hey, what you painting? Oh, you can't tell? Um, it's supposed to be the coastline. Though, I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. Ah. I think I can see it now. It's still a work in progress, but I don't know if I like where it's going. I think I'm going to head over to the Blackwood Forest Lighthouse soon. I'm still trying to find the right inspiration. You know how it is. You know how dogs is and all that. No, no, no. Okay, I'm very happy. I'm very happy your nephew's out there. I got my own fish to fry. Let's not use that phrase in a game like this. You never know. You're, some of my best friends might be fish. Just keep moving. Visitor's Center. I feel like I'm reading the sign wrong. <laughs> like visitor center up. Okay, so maybe this dude was the visitor center. Maybe he was hanging out. Is this the visitor center right here? May I go inside? May I purchase? I, I heard you sell golden feathers. Oh, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. Sure. Thank you. What, what else you got there? 
If you press A while in midair, you can flap your wings for a double jump, but that's not all. To climb a wall, push against it and hold A. The more golden feathers you have, the more you'll be able to climb and fly. Have fun out there. We're kind of low on stock, but that's good, actually. It's been a busy season. Okay. We only have one hat left. It costs 100 coins. Sorry, can't, can't afford it. I will buy another golden feather, though. Let's go! So... We now have unlimited jumps. And by unlimited, I mean three. Okay, okay, get your feathers back. Look at that. Dude, we are cruising now. We're off to the races. We did never, never got 15 shells for that nice being down there earlier, but it is what it is. Blackwood Trail or Hawk Peak? Let's, let's go, uh, let's go up. You know I'm more mechanics-driven to begin with. I'm a mechanics guy. I'm liking the mechanics. I know they're like, please talk to me, please. We built all this beautiful lore. Perhaps, perhaps, but first, just jump over the gap. Look at that, he's a freaking genius. Keep it going, baby. One more jump. My god, he's good. Oh, they're hitting us with the panorama. All right, the lighthouse, dude. Why'd you spill your beans? I can I, I cannot go in. That's fine. That's fine. Mostly just pilfering an awful lot of money. Good stuff. Oh, hello, hello, sir. You've made it. That was fast. Hey, it's you again. Classic me again. So, what do you think about this so far? Whoa, this is really good. It's like better than real life. Haha. <laughs> well, I don't think I can compete with real life, but I am happy with it so far. I don't know if it will fit into my exhibit, though. I'm trying to come up with something much more interesting. I'm going to follow one of the rivers up to its source. I have an idea for a painting from that perspective. He made great time. He should become, like, a professional. That's just my two cents on the subject. I'm, I'm very impressed with his ability to get here. So, number one word to describe this game right now? Charming. Without a doubt. I, I find myself charmed. Yo, you think? You think? No! Oh. Stop drilling, dude. You hit oil. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it, but... I guess that's why we should be talking to people. That way we can actually learn the mechanics and new information and so on and so forth. Let's go to the Meteor Lake Overlook. That sounds nice. Yo, watch out for the power lines, though. Yo, I, I gotta know, dude. I gotta know. Drop me straight into the crater lake. Honestly, I feel like I should get an achievement for that. That being said, I don't know if the Epic Store has achievements, so let's not bring up that old can of worms. Yo, this updraft is on point. You can get some sick dives on it. How do you dive? Okay, you gotta hear me out. First, you gotta be gliding. As you know, you glide by holding A. Then if you're high enough off the ground, Release your joystick to dive downwards, but you must remember to hold A. Okay. Okay. If you'll excuse me. Thank you. I need to pick up the shell. Somebody needs 15 shells. Dig up the whole palm tree. Palm tree girls need palm tree. You know this. You know the song. At this point, you know the song. If you don't know the song, I, I'm going to stop telling you. I think it's only enabling you. Keep moving here. So we're probably not going to play too, too much more because I understand uh, it is a little bit of a, a game on the shorter side. I mean, it says it quite literally in the name. Um, so if you're interested, allow me to kind of give you the pitch right now. It is available for free uh, on the Epic Store, which is cool. And if you want to support it, you know, to a greater degree financially, I know that it's on Steam and has 98% positive reviews, which is just absurd. Um, we dive in, boys. Oh, we're diving. Careful. Um, it's also on Itch.io, where I'm sure you can get it at what I'm expecting is a minimum price plus pay what you want. Don't quote me on that, though. That's just the usual model. You can check out a link to the Steam page in the video description below. What you doing? 
taking a break. Heh, don't tell anyone, all right? I won't. I don't even know who I'd tell. Good. I can't wait to be done today. When my shift's over, I'll be out catching some rare fish. It's my hobby, you see. If you happen to net some fish yourself, bring them to me and I'll trade you coin. I would if I had a fishing rod. You know, my friend Bill might be able to lend you one. He's out fishing all the time. I don't have any fish, dude. Just relax. Let me rob you. Oh, no. Thank God we're one of those seabirds. That it would be bad luck to hurt. You found a treasure map? Really? It says, his vessel was lost on the water, but the beacon found and caught her. So he buried his trade at the end of its shade to keep safe for the light keeper's daughter. He buried his something at the end of its shade. Some something the light keeper's daughter. I know where I'm going. It's the umbrella. The light keeper's umbrella. I just like the sound. There you go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe 1,000%. That we're in the clear on this one. At the end of its shade. At the end of its... At the end of its shade. At the end of its shade. At the end of its shade. Why would... They leave treasure at the end of an umbrella? That doesn't even make any sense. How long has that umbrella been there? Yeah, you're not, you're not using your noggin on this one. You know what? I applaud the... The go-getter attitude but i think you weren't really using your brain on that one but that's okay give me one canadian loony please occasionally i get the question do canadians really call a one dollar coin a loony yes it has a loon on it if anything is a great reason to call something something is if there's a oh we're right back at the start here is if there's a a reason for the nickname why the heck do we call it a dollar doesn't have a doll on it. If anything, makes us sound stupid for not calling it a loony. Anyway, <laughs> on that bizarre, on that bizarre non sequitur, I guess this is where we're going to leave it for a short hike. I've had a good time. It's a very uh, pleasant experience so far. And uh, I can definitely pick up. This has the sort of vibe that a lot of people are going to be super into. It's like a, again, I was about to go on a tangent earlier and I, got, I interrupted myself so rude. So rude of me to do so. Um, but it's, it's like a walking simulator, but then actually has mechanics driving it. So for me, I've actually, I've enjoyed a lot of walking simulators in the past. That to, especially back in, you know, 2013, 2014, a couple of them I enjoyed a great deal. Um, but they've never really been 100% my cup of tea, but you throw a little bit of extra mechanics in the mix with that kind of like build-it-yourself uh, exploratory attitude, I like it. I'm enjoying what they got going on here. Plus, let me say, you can't beat the price. It is available for free on the Epic Store. Of course, you can pick it up on Steam, Itch.io, or Humble if you are interested in, uh, in doing that as well. I'll put links to the, uh, the Steam page in the video description below. For now, though, okay, fair enough. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, I've been going through the comments. Always nice to see people say nice things and, you know, sometimes critical things. But as long as it's good feedback, it's good feedback. So you can leave a comment if you're interested. Subscribe if you want to see more indie games every single day. We're rolling one out every single day, bar none. As we have for the past, like, 95 days in a row or something. Uh, and, of course, like the video is the best way to support the video itself if you wanted to get more spread. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. See ya.